Darlene Tomorrow here, and I never get a chance to show this. I'm very excited. We're staging a home today. I'm going to show you how to take off a 3M command strip. These are magic. So you can see one here. It's been up here for, um, the homeowner tells me, years in this uh, locker system. It's great if you don't have enough hooks. Easy enough to put up, but here's the trick to taking it down. So there's a top clip. You want to pull that up and off. And then there's two pieces left. There's a little plastic piece that's stuck to an adhesive. And you want to pull the adhesive tab straight down. Do not pull it off because that will actually damage your walls. But you want to imagine that you are Elastigirl here. And you want to pull down and straight down, not out. Hold on to this guy and just nice and slow until it releases. You see these a lot, advertised a lot at the holiday time, and this is how it works. So you just keep pulling. I'm not pulling up on this at all. I'm just pulling down on the adhesive strip. And nice and gentle, and it comes right off. And I don't know if you can see, but there's not even a mark where it was. That's the whole point in these 3M command strips. Love them. They have them in all different sizes. They've even got some pretty stainless steel. And last year, they came out with um, clear ones, which are great. So if you don't want to mess up your walls, 3M command strips. That's my organizing tip for today.